Hello. In this video, we are going to talk about performing a standard GET request from the Internet HTTP site, which means that we will create a client on the ESP32 chip, and this client will perform the GET request via REST API uh, to the HTTP site. Practically, most of the sites are HTTPS, which means they are secure. And we also have a video how to perform the same task for a secure site. But here, in sake of simplicity, just to understand the principle, we will uh, examine the not secure and HTTP site. First, we will run the code and then... Uh, 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 Dig, dig in to understand uh, the principles. Uh, the code is saved in, in our GitHub uh, repository, GitHub Sims IoT Devices. You will have the link uh, below. I inside HTTP is PIDF. Here, what's going on with my internet speed? Okay. Uh, here we have um, uh, two files, of course, README, and two files, the program itself and the my data file with the credentials. My data is the file where you can save your SSID uh, name and your password of your Wi-Fi uh, uh, network where this the main we will just copy copy paste inside our project i already did it so here we have the code okay and we will just run it to see what it does and after that, uh, we will uh, follow the principles of the code and understand it a little bit uh, deeper. I have my ESP32 connected via USB to the PC. And uh, now I'm uploading the code from the PC to the chip. And the installation of this environment uh, we um, explained in the previous videos. Okay, what we see here at, at the end, the ESP got the Wi Fi IP, and then uh, the connection to the Wi Fi was initiated, it was successful. We went to the specific site, more specifically, we went to this site world clock api and this side returned uh, the following data you just can see this this data is uh, relevant by uh, you see here it's uh, the second of uh, uh, july 22 second of july 22 um, and the hour is uh, 1 pm 22 now it's uh, 1021 because um, it's now 22 and the three three hours uh, time gap okay um, first we we can start from the standard to understand this code we can start from the standard uh, expressive uh, documentation which on this side you can see how you can define the client also you have an example but this example mostly concentrates on HTTPS on secure protocols which we have in the different videos but it's easier to understand it in the HTTP client here you see three steps uh, initiation performance and cleanup in order to do it okay how it's imp how does how was it implemented in the code? Let's go over it. We have the standard includes of the free artos and the, the client uh, header uh, with, with the memory and Wi-Fi and so on. The first two functions 
uh, related to Wi-Fi. They were explained in the previous videos and you see here a Wi-Fi handler with different positions of Wi-Fi and also a Wi-Fi connection uh, with relevant SSID and password which you have uh, uh, put in my data file. I simplified the standard ESP example because for my opinion this way is easier to understand. The following two functions this and this, the client get handler and the rest get are the actual get request from the site which is hard coded inside the function. If we will check the main we define the memory and the Wi-Fi wi connection. We wait for two seconds just to make sure that the Wi-Fi have enough time to be initiated. And then we perform the GET request. The GET request define the configuration for the GET request, which includes the URL of the site, the GET method, we don't use uh, any certificates because it's not a secure site and uh, we we will use we will connect it to the get handler to this function which have the only one uh, one um, function is to put data on event we, when the, when we got the data Usually, the get handler have a lot of different uh, case scenarios, but in sake of simplicity, we choose only the event of getting the data. And then we perform the three steps that uh, were, were written in the expressive documentation. The initiation for the appropriate config, uh, performance, and cleanup and thus we can get the following data from this site. I hope it was helpful. Thank you.